NASA has just a 20% chance of launching its Artemis I moon rocket on Tuesday, due to an approaching storm that could turn into a hurricane when it makes landfall on Wednesday. The Space Launch System, SLS, rocket and Orion spacecraft are set to blast off on Tuesday, with the 70-minute launch window opening at 11.37 a.m. Eastern Time. The National Hurricane Center predicts the possible hurricane will travel over western Cuba early Tuesday, with a tropical storm hitting Florida midday. Managers said Friday that the rocket is ready to blast off Tuesday on its first test flight without astronauts, after overcoming more hydrogen leaks during a fueling test earlier this week. NASA said it will keep monitoring the forecast and decide no later than Saturday whether to not only delay the launch, but haul the rocket off the pad and back to the hangar. Officials said it's unclear when the next launch attempt would be, whether October or even November, if the rocket must seek shelter indoors. A tropical storm could ground NASA Space Launch System, SLS, rocket and Orion spacecraft that are set to launch on Tuesday. It takes three days of preparations to get the rocket back into Kennedy Space Center's Mammoth Vehicle Assembly Building. Four miles away. I don't think we're cutting it close, said NASA's Tom Whitmire, Deputy Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems. We're just taking it a step at a time. Fuel leaks and other technical problems scrapped the first two tries of launching the Space Launch System, SLS, rocket and Orion spacecraft, which will be uncrewed when it finally takes off. NASA conducted tests on the rocket Wednesday, which sprouted more fuel leaks, but engineers managed to get the problems down to acceptable levels. Engineers halted the flow and warmed the lines in hopes of plugging the leak and proceeded with the test. But the leak persisted before dropping to acceptable levels. Hours later, another leak cropped up elsewhere, before tapering down. However, the team said all the objectives were met. Hydrogen leaks spoiled the first two launch attempts, as well as earlier countdown tests. So much hydrogen escaped during the countdown earlier this month that it exceeded NASA's limit by more than double. Wednesday's leak almost got that big again. After hours of fits and starts, NASA finally managed to load nearly 1 million gallons of fuel into the rocket. Following the September 3rd launch delay, NASA replaced two seals in the leaky line. One seal had a tiny indentation. It measured a mere one hundredth of an inch. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but again we're dealing with hydrogen, the smallest element on the periodic table, said mission manager Mike Sarafin. NASA also altered the fueling process, easing slowly into the loading of the super-cold liquid hydrogen and oxygen.